Oh, I think this is the kin seed. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, uh, it's holding us. Alright, looks like th this is getting scary, man. What, what is this dark figure? Hey, good day, guys. Naka here, and welcome to kin seed. Finally, after four years of waiting, um, we get to experience this um, beautifully handcrafted game at its full potential, guys. Today is the full release of the game 1.0 version. That means there will be more contents coming out that includes a tavern update. I believe it's going to be early next year, so I can't wait for that. But right now, let's enjoy ourselves with this awesome game. Let's go. By the way, before I continue, guys, for those who have played this game, if you have a saved game, you can still play that, but it will not be compatible with the new 1.0 version. So better make one. I highly suggest. Anyway, you can. Here's the customization. This is where this is where you could customize your characters. All right, the skin. I'm brown. I'm Asian, man. So I'm brown. My hair should be uh, dark. This is black. This is dark. This is I can't tell the difference. This is gray. All right, that's fine. So the customization is uh, just simple. I can just choose these types and well it's good for me our name should be snacku all right let's begin guys there was an old woman who lived in a shoe she had so many kids she didn't know what to do then one day, a man, without wife or child, came to the house with manner so mild. The man looked at the children, each a fair twin. I am your uncle, he exclaimed with a grin. He took them away to live in the Vale, in the land of Quill, the place of our tale. Then they slept, safe, warm, and dry, under the watchful stars in the sky. All right, we are here. Wake up. So this is new. Um, I haven't seen this cutscene uh, from the previous one. So this is a good change that they did. So that was actually a sad, kind of sad story at the same time in the exciting. Okay, where are we right now? I don't know. Let's just follow the road to nowhere. I remember this scene. I believe this is where you're going to choose the path where you're going to go. Now let us start this edition. This tell me, child, your life's ambition. Alrighty, so we have your own a business, race of family, adventure, follow faith. Mm, so these are the uh, previously um, the early access. I did not really fully understand it, but now I have an idea. Because if you're in a business, you will have a perma stat for barter. I guess plus two, vice versa. So it makes sense. I don't understand what's the reality though. Wait, let me Google it. Okay, according to Google, virality is a manliness. So yeah, let's go ahead with that. And also, um, I want to raise a family. I believe that's one of the most exciting part of the game. Family A? I wouldn't know. How would you like to see them grow? All right, so to study hard, to have fun, to earn their keep, to spread a joy. Let's see. I'm not sure which, um, I want to make sure that my quality will complement my children's uh, personality or quality. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, to earn their keep. <laughs> Melanist, toughness, same, same. A legacy you hope to grow, but remembered for, I must know. 
charisma, generosity, my skills, things I created, the deeds I did. Well, I wanted to create always, so let's go ahead with this. I found out that if I would create rather than consume, I feel happy, so let's go ahead with that. Questions done now, very good. I can see my wife, fair weather, likes your blood. He give this gift, so hold it tight and wait for his call one misty night. Well, that looks like we're just chilling by the river. And we have this box here, it's about to fall and it did. What could it be? It could be the gift from Mr. Fairweather, right? Oh cool, we can open it. Mysterious gift. There you are. <laughs> Come over here. Okay, let's meet up with our sibling. What a beautiful place, guys. Let's let's uh, explore first a bit and appreciate what we have in front of us. Look at that. Look at this uh, flowers. I don't know. I don't know if they're flowers or what. Not but anyhow. Well, it's one way to get out of doing any work. Why didn't I think about think of that? <laughs> Weird dreams, huh? You should hear about the one I had last night, but not now. We're supposed to be doing our chores, remember? And don't pretend you're lost to your journal, Lazy Bones, because I have it right here. Talk to me when you're ready, A, press E, or left. Okay. Pick a dandelion and feed a pig. Dandelions are the clocks of will. Okay, I think I know about this. So you notice the job I added, huh? Well, it is your turn. It's right there in a calendar. I check mine every day to make sure I don't forget things. Maybe when you have time, you can work with that map you're always going about. Alright, sure. Let's see. For now, we have this place. Let's check how huge the place is. So Nope, we can't, but pretty sure it's going to be an exciting way to explore. I almost forgot Uncle Bill got us in the satchel each, so we can carry anything we need. They're a bit old and musty, but they're ours. We never had anything like this back at the shoe. So the inventory. Okay. So this is the inventory. It's pretty organized. I like it. We have uh, these categories. For food, we have this one, the left side, for the seeds, we also have these organizer at the left. I like it. Anyway, I think that's it. Maybe once we've finished your chores, you can start exploring. Can't wait to have adventures myself. I mean, is this place amazing? I still can't believe we're here. I always daydreamed some relative would show up one day and take us away from the shoe. Alright, looks like Uncle Bill wants to talk to us, so let's just go ahead. Alright, so it was just a casual talk, but I I believe that uh, it's a hint on how we go ahead with the game. So we need to tend to our daily chores yet and then explore. I think she's not yet done. It was nice of Uncle Bill to leave little signs around us to help. You should try reading them by interacting by using a left figure. All right. Well, let's, oh, we don't have a gift yet for our, for our sibling. What's her name? We don't know yet. I hate I hate to see this. That the name is sibling. How come? She's our sister. We should know her name, right? Okay, let's give an apple to our sibling. Actually, I know. Wait. Um, I don't like giving apples yet because. We need an apple. We need the apple for later. I'll show you guys why apple is very valuable in this game. So for now, let's just pick up these fruits. So we also have these books all around the place, but uh, we, we it's, it's fine not to read them yet because you can actually check the book. So you can check the book here, I believe. Here. Wait, I, how come it's gone? Oh, there you go. So the book will be here. So you don't have to read it right after you find the book. It will just stay in one of your inventory. So you can read it later on. 
So the good thing about the game is that it has its, you know, you don't have to plant trees anymore because it has its own tree. At the start of the game, you just have to pick up the fruits and also these beautiful blueberries. What? It's just the what? Alright, strawberry. Forever in fields full of beetles. Oh, there's now some birds. Before, there's none. That's good. I like it. Hello. Oh, shiny thing. Or again, basically a shower for plants and flower. I, li I like the dialogue. Like, <laughs> I, this game is actually going to the quirky uh, route. Okay, wait. So we need to pick up the dandelion. We did. That's good. And also we have here now at the upper right hand corner of the screen, the clock. So I think uh, when, when, the, when the dandelion, it, it, each time uh, in game, like at that, it's blocking itself. So a time away, it's like an hour away taken from the game. And I think it will cycle twice. Yeah, after it cycle once, it's like afternoon and then the second time it's gonna be midnight. Never drink from this. Why? Oh, we have your piggy. Truffles. Uh, truffles should love pears. Nice. I am to ride truffles. Alright, this is so cool. Oh, also the animation, they've changed it, right? Right, look at that. The, before, the, in, the, in the early access, the way that truffle runs, it's, it's like just so mechanical, like when you push to the direction where you where you, the pig where you want the pig to run it just runs like a robot like there's no it's like i don't know i don't know how to describe it but this is more realistic when it's running all right oh and also one of the few features of the game is this proverb night bears only appear when night when nine dark bells ring so clear so we also have those proverbs that will really uh, get you into the game because it will give you some hints and all that. Uh, Uncle Bill, let's wait. Let's just explore a bit. Yeah, we have more proverbs here. So they're like uh, hints on what you can do in the game. Look at the seeds of the dandelion flower. They point to the current hour. This one, I drop it right. I'm not sure if we could catch the birds, but... <laughs> We can't, right? Cuckoo do the healer's friend. Its usefulness knows no end. So it's giving us a hint here and there. So this is a map stone. Uncover all the map stones and the level to magically acquire an image of the whole region. Okay, there we go. Earlier it was just here, right? Now we have a map at the uh, left side. It's opened. Oh, I love this duckling. Look at that. She's trying to... I think she's trying to catch some fish. <laughs> That's so cool. This is so fun, man. Oh, wait. Actually, they have a bonus. Let's see. For those who have the game and are at the early access. Like this one. Kid, let's see. Kid, kid, kid. There you go, a rainbow. Okay, bye. But uh, I wanted to go for the nature thingy. Ah, awesome. Because it fits in our house, the flowers and everything. What are these things? The flying white stuff. It's like a fairy. Oh, we have also this. There's one more proverb here. Uh, I'm not sure how to get it yet, but... Oh man, that time is, flies so fast. Let's just go to Uncle Bill. Before anything else, I'll just pick up everything. You know what, this is... I remember a time when my mom uh, used to... ask me to buy something in the grocery store. I always go home late because I tend to go or explore uh, the, the places, go to our neighborhood. Delay and get delayed. I mean, I guess um, 
always end up wandering around. Okay, discover all maps. Okay, maps. Look at that, guys. That's huge. We're here. We started from here. This is actually the tree, so we can pick up the fruits. Also, the fruits here. This is the farm. One more farm here. And this is the. I don't know what place is this, but we could literally see a proverb right here. That's pretty awesome. We can see the proverb in the map, also the book. Okay, also this one. What part? I don't know which part is this, but we're gonna explore it, right? Obtooth, Obtooth gives you ump for night, but also give you a scary fright. <laughs> so yeah. I always end up wandering around before buying the things that my mom asked me to buy. Just like now in the game, I'm well, that's what I'm doing. So but this, this game reminded me of my childhood. <laughs> yeah. So for those who wanted to go to a memory lane in your childhood years, then definitely pick up the game. It's really cool. Clear as folk. Uh, let's just re read it later on. I don't want to bore you with my reading skills. Although I don't have one. <laughs> I just have to practice here in the game. At least it's in the game. It's more attractive than, you know, the, the usual reading. So what's this stones here? I don't know. I, I haven't really explored that much. We have this vignette effect. I have this game for a very long time. But I haven't really played much because this is one of the games that I really held back playing because I don't want to like, spoil myself while it's still in early access. I got the game uh, two or three years ago. And I just, I, just, I just played a bit. And I decided to just leave it as it is. Oh, look at this. Okay. I think it's time to talk to Uncle Bill. So now, finally it's out, then we can enjoy the game. Wait, Uncle Bill. How are you settling in? I hope you're not finding the chores too much for of a bother. I'm not as young as I used to be, so I can't do everything myself. Not that. That's why I brought you here. Haha, <laughs> me and your aunt always wanted children, but we were never blessed. If only she was here now. She always loved this time of year. Festival of Summertide is coming up soon. The whole of the whale will be preparing for it. Us too, we need Goddess Joy to smile on us and bring us prosperity. So I'm counting on you both to help. It'll be fun. You'll see. Let's give him a gift. He loves strawberry. Look at that. <laughs> I don't understand the, the numbering system, but what the heck. I think he loves it. Where did the old woman who lives in the shoe get that shoe? Or is it other? There must be a giant hoping, hopping around somewhere. Yeah. This dialogue here does not exist in the early axis, but man, this is so cool because it makes the game more immersive, more alive. Because, you know, the, the shoe was, at, was only part of the cutscene, right? Earlier start of the game but he actually uncle bill actually just um asked the question about the shoe so it's really interesting at least for me just relaxing a bit i'm good thanks okay that's it so we don't have any task whatsoever let's just uh end that day i want to test something by the way i want to see if we paint in, the, in this game just like any other if we can actually just this is uh the bro bruni bowl bowl but the bruni looks after your house and babies while you are away but requires reward okay but i i think what is the one that uh okay so what the one that the elf thingy that actually uh met us earlier one day for goodness, rotten core cool apples go rotten on your trees. Two days for forgetting curdled cows can't be milked on the farm. Three days, be lazy, no honey. 
be taken from the farm. Four days, loose lips, fish don't bite in the farm pond, ponds. Five days, Bailey Larder has one random item removed at midnight. Six days, be fuddled. Your children can't learn. Oh, this is this is drastic, man. Six days of not offering. Making an offering will take curse level now one by stage. Okay. Okay, let's make an offering then, man. At least we know that the consequence is not offering. Of not offering, so. There you go. And also let's feed butterscotch. Aha. And pet her. And then let's just say good night to oink oink. What oink oink you just pooped, bro? Could actually put the poop inside this bucket. Maybe well, and where can we throw this? I don't know. Maybe we could throw this in the let's see. Let's throw this here. Ah, this was so bad. Ah shoot. Oh man. Look at that, he actually re responded to the poop. <laughs> okay. Let's just... Oh no, I want to get all the poop before Uncle Bill gets so angry at us. Wait, can't collect this? This is crazy. Should be able to uh, collect it, right? Oh no, we are gonna be in trouble, man. Uncle Bill saw us. Putting poop in front of the door. No, oh, never mind. That's a huge mistake. Okay, there we go. We fainted at the fourth dandelion. So there's a faint mechanic, but uh, we don't have to pay anything, right? I don't have. Yeah, we don't have to pay anything. It's fine. Now I think we are in a dream world. This is. Uh, Mysterious place. What's, the, what's this? Oh, I think this is the Kinseed. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, uh, it's holding us. Alright, looks like th this is getting scary, man. What, what is this dark figure? Do you fear your shadow, my child, or do you feel them calling you? This is fair weather, okay. You should hold them close and listen. Kinseed has chosen you for greatness. Will speak again as summer tide fades and your closed eyes will opened will be opened now wake up we're having and i'm not sure if this is a nightmare or a gift or a curse so hopefully it is not a curse but we have two brass waiting to collect good morning so this is actually the brass that we've collected for me for doing a task this is really cool because it's really like a live sim game where you get a reward or a salary or a payment from doing a task. It's not just like after you harvest a, you know, the typical farming uh, thing after harvesting, you, can sh you will ship in the bin and you'll get money out of it. But this is a good one for me. Although there's nothing bad at it also uh, when you ship a bin. So something new, it's always good. Uh, you are all up, off into the village, I hear. Don't get lost. Oh yes, before I forget, you see bubble help yet? It lets you see certain interactive objects on screen. Try it now by pressing F3 or by clicking on... Okay, let's try it out. F3. Okay. Ah, this is very useful. So you can click on this. It will show you the descriptions. Alright, we also have a stove and a bed, of course. Okay, that's it. Okay, I wanna store our brass. Because I'm saving for something, I wanna buy that slingshot. And also, there's one more shiny stuff. Make sure we have the lantern in case we get home late. I can use this. Oh, what a bummer earlier and early access you can use it actually but it's fine good morning sounded like you had restless dreams a good day work is the best cure for that or we're going to be ready for the summertide 
will need the farm running at its best, so I need you to buy a new tin bucket in town. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and visit the town to get a tin bucket. Oh, I see if the tetherway will help you get to the law. Simply select set tetherway under relevant task. Okay, so this is like a, a guide, okay? Very cute fairies and not shy at all. Fairy trail. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Butterscotch. Let's feed Butterscotch first. Make sure she's well fed. Pet her. Always be nice to her. So she will have give us good, healthy milk. Okay, Twig. My name is Twig and I'm inviting you for a visit. I got told you would make great friend. I live in the nook. Okay. Twig, Twig, Twig. This is a guy that will help us. Uh, I'll tell you later how wh what exactly he will do. Wait, let's give this probably to Uncle Bill first. I forgot. Oh man, I'm so happy about this game. I don't know, it just makes me feel like I'm, I'm back to my childhood. Well, uh, this will do nicely. This is Rigi for you. I heard Ignatius Skittle likes Nightberry. Oh, that's good to know. So this is the guy here at the lower left hand corner of the screen. This is Ignat Ignatius Skittle. Ignatius or Ignatius? No, not pronounce it. Just tell me, guys, in the comments. Okay, we have a lot of books to read. Okay, let's focus, guys. So we need to say hi to our animal friends, especially we've done with butterscotch, but uh, more especially to with truffles. We need to feed truffles as well. One apple. And let's get a ride. It's really convenient because you get an instant speed boost in the game, not like you have to make a get a horse first to get a speed boost. And traveling, so this is really convenient for me. What the heck, bum, bup, bluff, nuff, nuffs? Spread sunshine whenever you go. That's where Ifries like to see themselves. <laughs> okay, but I don't understand the the, the, what the icons on top of their head. It's like a thunder icon. Maybe they're jazzed up or something. This looks interesting. Okay, let's head to Twig first. You know what? Let's go to the tin bucket. Uncle will be mad if we don't get it in time, I believe. Especially we we put poop in front of the door last night. <laughs> so let's just get into the get into Uncle's good side, right? So calendar and then we need to put this in the other way uh, by pressing R. Alright, and then F1. Oh, there you go. Nice. This is the guide. Okay. So while we are actually uh, walking, we need to also look around to see if there are any books or proverbs or anything that we could pick up. Okay. So we are in town. I guess before we get directly to our task, let's explore first. All right. Wow, this is a beautiful place, huh? This one looks like a place where we could actually enter, but we can't. Hey, chicken. Ova egg. It's better chicken here. Uh, feed him an apple. Yum, yum, yum. You need more? Alright. This is a lively town. Wait, wait, we can actually enter random homes okay the other way guide hey faring well yeah yeah i am i'm writing i'm writing truffles and i'm doing great more books here ip everyone oh there's more trees nice let's get all of them as long as it's permitted this is also an interesting spot Candy Squirrel, need the present for a birthday. Candy Squirrel is a giveaway. There's also a duckling here. Hello. Some mushroom. 
I'm not sure if we could pick it up, but we can't. But surely we can get these strawberries. As long as we could pick it up, it's not, it's not stealing, right? <laughs> okay, we need permission for this one. Okay. Oh, there's one proverb here. Let's see if we could enter. Yep, we can. Opal Trench. Smithies swear by Opal Trench and often keep one in their bench. Smithies. So people from the blacksmith shop might love that kind of fish. So. Wait, this is Tar. Let's see. What, what is this? Introduce Lucy Arrows. Hello. I was hoping I'd run into you. We've all heard a lot about you. Or about old Bill's new rewards, and everyone's more than a bit curious about you. Me, I'm curious about everything, especially in the past. As a Bill's original historian, I'm always in the lookout for rarely things his histor historical documents. So, let me know if you've spot any. Okay, so Lucy Arrows is like is, she's like the museum where you can donate some artifacts and all those stuff. Let's give her a gift. Ah, she likes it. Gummy mushroom for respect and added sickle wilder. I'm just heading to the shops for supplies. Wow, look at that, guys. People here has their own lives. <laughs> Let's see if she goes. Let's see. If she does what she just said to us. Yep. Goodbye. Let's see. Wait, the shop is there? No, no, the shop is actually... Uh, oh, wait. Wait. This is not the shop. Now Lucy Arrows is gone. I'm not sure where she went. <laughs> Anyhow, let's go to the shop and get that uh, tin bucket. Got this statue can be used in day seven or day fourteen to make offerings to goddess for boons and curses. You may also choose to fast travel for a cost of one apple. This is what I'm telling you guys. Apple is very valuable in the game for you to fast travel. So. You may also check out the which moon's crack. View offering. No, we can't. There's nothing available for us right now. Oh, we have this uh, trader. Hello, youngster. I'm a traveler. I'm a traveling trader. I sell seeds and such. I just love spreading my seeds. Okay. Look what, oh look what do we have here, an apple, one brass, coin tail use, flag, fish pie, this could be a recipe. These are expensive, man. We don't much like strangers around dusty acres, so stay away. Only scrum beads are welcome and even the, even then I got half a stink eye on them. What's happening? Could you keep eye, keep an eye out? I seem to have lost my. What the heck is this? Okay, free frail ifigy. Ah, I said frail ifigy. I was in Cowpat Farm when I noticed it had gone missing. Thanks. Oh uh, sure, I'll try to help. Thank you very much. Let's give him a gift. Okay. He doesn't like us that much. Okay. Goodbye. Edward Teapot, haven't seen you in Candlewish before. Uh, you're not an undercover kettle, are you? Good, good. That family makes my blood boil. So, <laughs> okay, this is interesting because there's, although this game looks really, really beautiful and everything looks so nice, um, there are some friction in between people here which is normal in the community right that's 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 without those friction there's no growth as long as we learn the way okay what's happening i'm just heading to the shops for supplies okay goodbye uh, the tin 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 there you go tin bucket preparing liquids the drinkable variety Look at that, guys. The NPCs are actually alive. Happy with this. He just bought something. This is so cool. This is the this is uh, how this is how a life sim should be. Oh, repent, you sinner! 
And if you think you haven't committed any sin, well, that's a sin right there. Pray for forgiveness from the goddesses. They're watching us, watching us all. What's happening? I am going to the store to find gift for your love, goddess. I just like the faster. And we have your oh, sausage is gonna be for a hundred gold. This is so adorable, so cute sausage. Hey, I think this is gonna be our first uh, purchase, big for purchase, guys. Uh, sausage. I would like to have a companion dog. Eyes, mud, moon. Greetings. I am I. Ikaba. I'm sorry, guys. I really don't know how to pronounce the names of this game, <laughs> so uh, forgive me. Anyway, merchant and seller of goods. I came to the Vale from far away and cornered a hole in the market. Once I filled into the hole, I built a market and yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah, you found success. Could you keep an eye out? I seem to have lost my Ida Ifigi. Okay, sure, sure. People here, here just give us random tasks, which is good. I, I think so. Even though we just met them. <laughs> All right, this is also there's a rose candy. I'm looking for the slingshot. Farmers to thin shovel. Sleepers zest. Glass jar. I don't have that. I don't have any more brass. I miss Lucy arrows. Do you have any two brass? Ah, oh, she just bought a slingshot. Oh, this is the slingshot, right? Okay, we need the slingshot. I'm gonna show you something real cool. Although, I hate to do it, but... We'll see. You need to be older to buy this. Okay, we can buy the shop, so we need to be older. <laughs> I'm thinking right now which shop we can buy. And that I'll be buying first. I might be buying first the uh, blacksmith. I, it could be fun for me, or I don't know. I don't know yet. Maybe we'll know. We'll know along the way. But Kui, don't need a nobody from the flipping Oli farm around our place. And don't you bother an Oli with puppy. I'm off shopping, but I bet they don't um, have what I want in stock. Okay. Goodbye. And we have here, uh, Billy Kui. I ain't supposed to talk strangers, and you're as strange as blue cow dunk. <laughs> what a rude kid. So go on and get lost. <laughs> okay, what's happening? I am just heading to the shop for supplies. <laughs> okay, nice talking. Okay, so we got. Oh, we also we can also own this, uh, shop. The I believe this is a tavern, right? Yep, it's a tavern. Melanie Jugged, welcome to the Vale. I own the Flailing Arms, the village pub. Okay. You've probably seen my dad, Toby, milling around. I can't serve you any drinks, but you're welcome to come and visit. We have the nicest drinks of all film. So, this is Tubby Tug. And, uh, yeah. We don't serve miners because we're still a miner and this is a tavern and they serve drinks, right? <laughs> okay, nice talking, old man. People here, are, let's just talk to all the people. Eventually we will get there, right? Let's do it now. Goodbye. Oh, this is old Jacob. <laughs> Alright, we have one more guy here. What you want? Had enough of them rascals, so I moved myself into my own little shed by Droidus' armpits. <laughs> Leave this old vicar alone and grim. Ah, so hard to... It's hard to read this kind of dialogue, but it's a fun... It's I think it's fun, yeah, but it's I'm not used to it, the such dialogues. I'll get used to it once we get to play a more of this beautiful game. No, no, no. You shall not go, no. No, indeed. Your uncle told me to watch you and watch you, Shul and Herbert. No leaving the veil till uncle says so. I am... I am just pooping to the shops. And I don't mean I am 
giving gassy apples to pigs. See you later. Okay, so this is the blacksmith. Nice. There's a lot of customers in the blacksmith. That doesn't like me talking with people, but just wanted to say welcome to the veil. Is it true that also twins? Okay. Yep, we're twins. And we have here an interesting lady with a cat on top of her head. <laughs> be careful with that thing. Well, be careful with that thing on top of her head. Although that she that cat looks so adorable. Let's say hi. Hazel not. Wait, my cats are peering into your soul, so to determine if you can be trusted. And congratulations. They aren't clawing your eyes out, which means you passed. <laughs> That's funny. See ya. Okay, let's just uh, explore the blacksmith once we need to go there. Definitely our uncle will ask us to get some tools, right? That's what I remember when I play, uh, first played it. So let's just take step by step. For now, let's just get home. It's getting late. And deliver the tin bucket. Now we're back in our farm. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's go first to Twig. We need to get that fishing rod so we could catch those fish it's one of my favorite part of any live farm sim game most npcs can be married no matter what gender the only exception will be those who are goddess blessed like masters that's good to know we have more uh, map here okay we have one more proverb. Fun lurker gives a tiny burst to stamina, but it's the worst. The right angle is about fishing. Finally, we're gonna meet, meet Twig. Oh, hello. You got me a letter, my name's Twig, but you can call me Twig. Not sure why I got the name, probably because I, like, I l look like a stick. <laughs> A little help writing it towards our dream pal. You know, he can do marvelous things. Would it have made it to Master Fisherman without his help? You know who I'm talking about, right? Mr. Fairweather. He's got big plans for you. That's why you and me have got to stick together. First off, I'm going to teach you one of the miss of me fishing tricks. Okay. Skills and player progress open. Okay. Okay. So we've met like 20 out of 83 NPCs. We found 22 items. That's good. And this is it, right? With this, you aren't limited to catching fish on your line. So we need to visit master to visit master to give a pond lurker. Okay. So uh, Twig is our uh, fishing guru. <laughs> okay, let's see if we could. So let's see if we could catch some pond lurker with this new rod. This is hard. Hey, the fishes are not biting. Hey. Okay, let's try it one more time. Oh wait, I see something. There's actually a proverb here. Let's see if we can hook it with our line. This is taking too long. Right, let's try it again. Okay, let's try it again one more time. No, it should work. You know what, never mind. It's already night time, so let's just try and get some fish. This is harder than I expected. Oh, there you go. What? I was close. I think we need to read a book. I haven't caught any fish yet whatsoever. They're all running away. And then they just take a bite and then run away. And then again, we fainted. What a start. <laughs> so we have three brass. I would like to get the glass so we can add, we could use it to get some cow milk and uh get the honey 
Okay, Uncle Bill, we need to start planting, planting the seeds. You can buy seeds from the goods market and the festival green, the south of the village center. The market is on there every third and tenth day of season. Here's for brass to get some seeds. By the way, guys, the next episode will be at the lower left hand corner of our screen. And if you enjoyed so far what you're seeing right now, please let me know by giving this video a like and subscribe. And always remember to be kind and patient to one another because that is what love is. See you in the next video.